Did somebody... Sorry, what are you saying? I said maybe not legions of superheroes, but legends in our time. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's uh, <laughs> did somebody tell you that that is absolutely one of my favourite songs ever? Though? You know, I actually have some friends in Grangemouth, Scotland... Right. ...who tape your programme. Right. And occasionally they send me a copy of it, and they mm. sent me one where you were talking about that song. Oh, yes, because when so I... So we cheated and... No, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for, for doing that. Don Gibson's song. Yeah, beautiful uh, one. And done to great advantage by Roy Orbison. He did a lovely uh, version of it. And uh, it's one of those songs when I first went to live in Dallas, Texas in 1960, and I was living on my own in a shed. And... Uh, uh, I used to play that to myself and feel fantastically sorry for myself. Uh, and uh, it's, it's exactly the right record for those circumstances. But uh, uh, that's the last of your five, but it's been fantastic. And uh, thanks to all of you for coming. And I hope well, John, it's been a great pleasure. And I hope you'll do it again. Yeah, excellent. Okay, well, I'm going to... This is... Uh, uh, well, what can I do to follow that? i play you another one of my all-time favourite records, actually. This is uh, Diblo de Bala and Le Groupe Le Quetto, and uh, it's that song, Le Joie de Vivre, which has got the most astounding guitar playing on it, uh, as regular listeners will, of course, know. I've forgotten to uh, cue it up, actually, in all of the excitement, but it will start any moment. 